Hello and we're back for Become a Legend on Pro Evolution Soccer 2021. Final game of the season. It is a Clermont Foot. We're playing for Paris. As you can see in the bottom of the screen there. 0-0, nil, 1-0, nil, nil, loss, 1-0, nil, loss. Um, loads of 1-0 losses. It's very disappointing. If we don't score, the team don't score. We played Auxerre, we scored. Um, I think this is Agesio was the last episode, I think, wasn't it? Troy's Agesio and Amiens. Yeah, 1-1 one, one draw with Auxerre, and then it's 0-0, nil, 1-0 nil, nil loss, 1-0 nil loss, and uh, Claire Mont up next. So we're going to play this game and then see if we can get a move from this godforsaken team, because they are dreadful. We are on a yellow arrow today. We're up to a 71, so we're actually the best player at the club, along with right back Ballard and central midfielder uh, Gakpa. Actually, Manduki are, is a 72, and he's not even on the bench. So, well done to the manager for that one. Uh, but, yeah, I don't really know where to go. As I said before in the last episode, potentially Spain. Uh, that's an option. Or somewhere in a really bad league. We're just going to see. We're, what We're not going to... I'm going to first off try and see who approaches for us. Because you've got to remember, when we are at Man United, we had Burnley come in for us. And you get a bit of funky music because it's the final game of the season and we're at home uh, in, in Paris, in the Konami Stadium in Paris. And we're going to be playing Clermont Foot for this one. So let's just see if we can end off with a goal. We are gone back to this view because I feel like this is better as the sort of player. Um, but we'll have to see how it goes, really. I mean, what is that for a ball into space? Absolutely dreadful. We've actually been getting a lot more involved in the game which is good just a short pass along the floor oh nearly uh but yeah i mean i've got a couple more goals i think we'll have a look at all the stats and stuff at the end i mean i'm in so much space just put it into my feet what's all this long ball nonsense we, we i've been getting used to how to play the way paris want us to play but it's just not right it just doesn't sit well with me when we try and do this long ball stuff to people that generally don't win the ball in the air and then it's funny because they'll go all out attack if we're losing. And uh, that's 1-0 down. And they will start playing the ball around with some nice football. And generally we'll score after going 1-0 down. Uh, the other reason for going for this view is that it's a little bit easier to win free kicks. Much harder to score in this view I find. But uh, in terms of dribbling and stuff like that it is a little bit easier. We're still playing the sort of selfish game in terms of we're just trying to get goals and assists or goals to be honest we're not even that afraid about assists because our strikers are so bad but uh, yeah anyway it's a game on and we're already 1-0 down so it should make it a little bit more interesting again a target man that doesn't win anything we'll have that one on the edge how about that nice little jink oh I was trying to win a free kick but it didn't come off and uh oh yeah we had a game that I think may have been Auxerre when it was 1-1 and we, uh, basically, I lost the ball in their area trying to do a fancy bit of skill. And what that did is they went up the other end and scored. So, yeah, that was fun. That was fun indeed. But anyway, I've been rambling enough. Uh, it's 1-0 down. We'll come back if uh, anything interesting happens. Uh, right, so I've just lost the ball on roughly the halfway line. Uh, I was dilly-dallying with it, trying to beat my man. Uh, lots of easy passing options on. Didn't take any of them. And uh, now Clermont Foot are coming forward. So let's hope it's not going to be 2-0 at the end of this move. Technically, a lot of has happened in phases of play, is uh, I'd say. And it's now officially not my fault because they've got a corner. That guy there put it out for a corner. So, you know, if they score from this, definitely not my fault. Unless my man scores. My man is the guy on the edge of the area who has not scored. So it's not my fault. Long ball forward. Oh, and our centre forward hasn't won it. Again, it's always the defender that's won. It's bounced through to Zjoko in goal. I reckon as a 71 rated, we may get a lower Premier League team sniffing around us. I think we had Burnley and Newcastle, and I turned them both down. Which, I mean, Newcastle, I can stand, understand. Be absolutely dire playing for Newcastle with Steve Bruce as manager. But uh, I, I've just got to be more aware of game plans with... How people play in terms of long ball. We don't want long ball build up. And I don't, to be honest they don't even have to have a left wing forward row. If it's a right midfielder I can do that. If they want to play me up front I can do that. There we go. Acres of space. That guy can't control a cat. And uh, he gives it away. Here's Gastien. 
And before you know it, I'm rambling so much, it's nearly half time. That's gone wide. Okay, we've been played into a, a bit of space here. George, a lovely little twist of that. Let's have a shot. We've had a shot, the diving header to block it. As, uh, well, George, she looks a little bit upset by that, but it was a good little ball down the line. And then we did a nice little shimmy to cut inside here. Completely left the defender for dead. Got in, right-footed shot. Well, well defended, actually. It is well defended. And it's going to be a corner. We're going to make a near post run. Is he going to go for us? No, he's not. It's gone over us. He's going to shoot. Oh, what a save from the keeper. We jumped out of the way. I think we may have been offside if we had touched a bit. 1-0 down at half-time. Final game of the season. Two shots, one on target, uh, which I would imagine was that one. And our one was classed as off-target because it was blocked. But uh, second half, here we go. I'll always say as well, it feels like we've never been settled at Paris because we never changed or asked to change our shirt number from number four. And number four is not a left wing forwards number. So I think that is very clear to say that we were never settled in Paris unless PSG want to snap us up and then we will be settled in Paris. But don't you say, is that a free kick or a penalty? What's he given there? He's given a free kick on the edge of the... Uh, Edge of the area. Bertoma. Oh, it's deflected. It's deflected. It's a corner. It's a corner. It wasn't very good. Oh, we're very good at free kicks, by the way. We we hit the target, hit the bar, hit the post, score. Generally, we'll do... We'll either hit the target, hit the bar, or hit the post, I'd say, with a free kick. I very rarely put them off target or into the wall. Is that, oh, it's another bloody free kick. I went to charge it down this time instead, and it's bouncing around. It's still bouncing around, and it's sort of cleared away to nobody. Our guy doesn't get there. They take each other out. Great collisions mechanisms on PES 2021. I'm so excited about PES 2022 as well. Cannot wait for that with the new Unreal Engine. It's going to be ridiculous. I might have to upgrade my PC to uh, make sure we get the best out of it, but that's a conversation for another day. Great still from Castien. As I've been sprinting around like a lunatic and now I've run myself into the ground. And that's a wonderful through ball. Come on, Bojan. You're in. No. Whoever you are, that was really annoying. Really, really annoying. If I do do a Become a Legend, by the way, another one after this or on 20, 2022 or something like that, I already know who I'm going to be. And I think if you're a big fan of the channel, I don't think it would come as a surprise who I'm going to pick. So you can uh, leave a comment down below who you think it would be. If you are a fan of the channel. And uh, if you're not, then subscribe and become a fan of the channel. We're off. Final game of the season. We lasted just over an hour. Absolutely ridiculous. And there we go. A 1-0 loss to end the season. Um, and thank God that season is done. Dreadful. Absolutely shocking. Let's crack on. Don't care about ratings. It's been, it's been awful. Awful experience in Paris. We've dropped down to 13th. And I cannot remember the last time that Paris scored a goal when I wasn't on the pitch. And that says a lot. We're only 20, so we do have potentially a long way to go in our career. 46 appearances overall, 6.1 average rating, 6 career goals and 1 career assist, which is pretty dreadful in 46 games. Uh, 3 goals came with Paris, but an average rating of 5.8 wasn't very good at all. So we're going to go to well, the team of the season. Obviously, we're not in it. We're, there should be no one from Paris in it. They've been absolutely shocking. So, uh, World All-Stars squad announced. If we've made that, we don't have the quality to compete. Exactly. Which is why I want to get out of here. I want to leave. It's still not open. It's still not open. Come on. Come on. So, club rankings are being updated. We're not going to uh, worry about any of them. We just want to get to the transfer window. Final day of the season. Let's see what's been chatting about in here. Absolutely. This team's the place for me, says Bojan Georgic. Nope. Uh, I'll tell you that right now, mate. No, it is not. And uh, we're off to next season. 71 rated left winger. We made 19 appearances. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. So, Toulouse and Guigomp went up. I, I could potentially play for one of them as the 2021-22 season gets underway. And it's the opening day of the transfer window. So, we, uh, we've got some messages. What number do you want? None. I'm not going to be here. I am not going to be here. Let's... I mean, I could put in a very cheeky bid to say... I mean, Crystal Palace would be quite fun. Crystal... I mean, it would be like playing my masterly. Everton would be quite fun. 
Sheffield United, Southampton. Southampton would be interesting. What do they play? They play build up long pass. No, thank you. Um, Tottenham. I don't think we'll be able to play for Tottenham. I just don't think it's right. See, short pass possession. Even short pass counter attack is fine. You play long pass. Um, I mean, yeah, who's the worst? Sheffield United, Watford, Norwich. What do Norwich play? They play short pass possession. I mean, Norwich could. I'm going to. Do you know what? Bosh, I'm going straight in for Norwich. First day of the transfer window. I've gone for Norwich. I said I'd wait to see if we get any offers from other people. Well, on the fourth day of the transfer window, there may be something. As so we've got a message to say, Norwich, uh, I've opened a discussion with Norwich. Um, this is on me, kid. I couldn't make it happen. Well, bloody get on with it. Right, we're going to wait now and see if we get any offers from clubs that actually come and approach our, us or our agent. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Shocking. Got a great relationship with the boss. I mean, do I? I'm trying to leave and I keep moaning about his tactics. I don't think I do have a great relationship with the boss. I mean, we've gone a whole month and we're about to start the league again. So, I've been selected for the Swedish national team. What is going on? What is going on? I've been selected for the Swedish national team. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Right, Burnley wanted us. They're going to play long ball as well, aren't they? Obviously, they're going to play long ball. And I assume Newcastle are going to play long ball as well. Uh, oh, Newcastle got relegated. Newcastle got relegated. I mean, the championship. I could drop down to the championship. Leeds got relegated. What the hell? Wouldn't have imagined that. Short pass possession. I mean, we've got a chance. We're better than Pan Patrick Bamford, to be honest. Let's try Leeds. Let's try Leeds, shall we? I can't believe we've been selected for the Swedish... On our form? That's dreadful. Okay, we've got a match day here. But I'm intent that I want to leave this club. Um, so I'm going to skip this match and we'll simulate it. Because I'm not fussed about playing for it. They won 4-1. They won 4-1. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're going up to a 72. Ridiculous. Absolutely Ridiculous. Let's see if we hear anything back. Right, we've got some transfers going on. I don't think I can do another season in Paris. Oh, Leeds don't want us to go. I mean, we're a Swedish international. Well, not yet. We're, a, we're not yet a real Swedish international. I mean, I don't know what sort of... Should we go for a really crap league? Should we go to, like, move to Argentina? I mean, I wouldn't mind moving to Argentina. What sort of level the Estudiantes? Short pass possession. We would come in as a pretty average player compared to the rest of them. I mean, I, I think Boca and River are going to be too good for us. So, yeah, 80, 80, 75, 76, 78. They've got, like, high 80s. We'd probably be on the bench. Short pass possession. I could try River Plate. Velez, Sarsfield are a pretty good team as well. I mean, what's Bocker's squad like? I, I just imagine Bocker's squad is ridiculously good. 73, 80, 79, 80. Yeah, we'd, I think we'd struggle. I think we'd struggle in Bocker. Argentinian Juniors. I mean, there's so many leagues you can play for here. The Thai Super League, the J League, the Chinese Super League. We could go and join. We could go and follow the money in the Chinese Super League. That would be quite interesting. It would be, a, it'd be a, it would be a strange uh, twist to the game, definitely. I mean, yeah, you've got like the Swedish league, Basel. You'd, be, you'd probably be in the Champions League with Basel, actually. Basel or Young Boys would probably be in the Champions League, and we would probably be short pass possession. Would be the starting left midfielder. I'm going to go for Basel. We are going for Basel. Can we go from? The UK to France to Switzerland. That is the question as we progress forward. And, uh, well, European's best player. We'll take that accolade. Right, now. I don't even need to have a press conference. We'll take it. Oh, it's gone to Neymar. He must have just, just about beaten us. Uh, we've got a message. Basel's reply. Oh, come on, Basel. We can't even move to Basel. 
we're going to have to make this our go ourselves, I think. Andelect, I'm always a big fan of Andelect, but they're higher rated than Basel. Can we look at... So if we go database competitions and look at the Champions League and see who is... Okay, so playoffs are still happening, but lots of teams have already won it, have gone through. Can we see what the group stages are? We can, right. Sporting. Basel. Olympiakos. Or Ghent, maybe. Michelin. Young Boys. Ooh, okay, so there are potentially some teams we can move to. Club Bruges. Dynamo Zagreb we can't move to, unfortunately. Savio Prague we can't move to. Right, we either try Young Boys or Club Bruges, I think. Young boys or Club Bruges. Let's go. I'd, I'd love to play in the Champions League. Get that extra bit of exposure. Add a little bit more to the uh, to the save as well. So, who should we go for first? I mean, who did I say? I can't remember who I said now. I said Young Boys or... Yeah, Young Boys are here and they are... They're also three-star rated. How do they play? See, they've actually got a better team than Basel, and they play long pass, so no thank you. And it was so it was young boys, or I can't remember who I said now. Who did I say? Who did I say it was? That is a really bad memory. That is a really bad memory. Um, International Cups, Champions League. Can't play for Michelin. Who was it? Oh, Club Bruges. That was it. Club Bruges. They're probably going to be quite high rated as well. Annoyingly. Um, transfer request. They are in there. And Club Bruges are three and a half star rated. That is annoying. Game plan. Yeah, they do play the left wing forward. And they do play short pass build up. I mean, there's no harm in trying, is there? There's no harm in trying. Surely this is giving indications to the Paris FC board that I no longer want to be here. Oh, it's a day before deadline day. I don't know if I can do another season at Paris with those terrible, terrible tactics. Great. He's come. He's joined. They said no. I mean, we're going to have to move to a terrible team somewhere. That's how it feels. Or do we go into deadline day? We'll go into deadline day and see if we get an offer on deadline day. This has been a shocking summer. There's no offers. Oh my god, the, it's shut. It's shut. Why can't we approach another club on deadline day? Oh, we've got to do six more months of Paris. Oh my god. That is dreadful. Ugh. Oh, I don't want to play at Paris anymore. Get me out of here, agent, you useless numpty. Absolutely shocking. Ugh. Rubbish, Mr. Agent. Absolutely rubbish. I can't, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. We're stuck at Paris. Nobody wanted us. Nobody wanted us. Right, we're going to have a bit of an extra long episode. We're going to do this game as well uh, against Sweden. I'm sure we're going to be on the bench. We are on the bench. So, I mean, how do they play? If they play long ball, I'm going to be fuming. Short pass, counter attack. Lovely. We'll come on for Forsberg. That'll be fine. Just bring us on for Forsberg at some point. So, sit back, relax. Oh, what rating are we on? We are on an up green. There you go. 72 rated. Come on. Come on. Just, I just want to see what it's like to play for a short pass possession build team. Because Paris was a nightmare. An unforgiving nightmare. Where we're going to have to be there for six more months. I, I'm tempted just to skip all the games. But then our rating won't go up. Which means it's harder to get a move. But we can forget about that. We're in the Swedish national team at the Friends Arena. So uh, let's kick this game off. We're back for any news.
So at half time in a very even game, yep, you've guessed it, it's nil nil. And uh, they've we've had one shot, great save from their keeper to be fair, and they haven't had any. So come on AI, please sort yourself out. This has not been entertaining, but we are on, and I think we're playing as a striker. We are playing as a striker, we've replaced Marcus Berg, so this will be very interesting. Um, to see how we get on as an out and out striker playing alongside Alexander Isaac, who is uh, a very highly rated youngster in real life. I think uh, Real Sociedad nowadays, I think. We're going to do the whole of this half as it's our international debut, which I think is quite a quite a cool thing to do. As Mandzukic shoots, good save from the keeper. And that is Croatia's first shot, and Mario Mandzukic is the man that has it. And it was very easy for them to just split us open here. Ball through the middle, nice little hold up, turn. Shot off, good save from the keeper. Good save from the keeper. As uh, another sub is made, Forsberg, who I thought we would come on to replace, has been replaced by Klieson at left wing, and uh, we'll pick this ball up. And our first touch in a Sweden shirt is very composed and has done very well. I'd like to feel like we played into the tactics there. We're going to try and get ourselves back up front, and it goes out to left back. And why are you now playing long balls again? Why? That is not in the description. Rakitic lays it up to Mandzukic again. Back to Rakitic. Rebic. All the itches. Balasic. Balasic just being held up. Back into Rebic. To Rakitic. Rebic. No, Balasic. How it goes. It's headed over his own bar at the back by Granqvist, I think that was. And uh, yeah, we just get left up front on our... Diddly squat on our own. Up there, Mandzukic heads that down to, well, to Rakitic. Vlasic, once of Everton. It's bouncing around, cleared away. And this is the only thing with being a striker. It can be a bit lonely at times. An hour gone. And uh, there are more, more subs happening. No, nope, not yet. Vlasic with the ball for Croatia. He's twisting and turning. Little shimmy into Rebic. Scooped pass into the path of Balasic. Fired in the cross. It's bouncing around and... Well, cleared away. Can Isaac win that one? No, he can't. Rebic. Barisic. On it for Croatia. Again, twisting and turning, trying to get away from his man. Ball in. And, uh, well, Mandzukic is there. I mean, what is that for a header away? Look how far back I've got to come to try and get involved in this game. We put a bit of pressure on for Zalko and nick the ball as well. Oh, it's Luka Modric. We, can out we should definitely be able to outrun Luka Modric. And we have, and we've got round Vida, and oh, he's fouled us. He's fouled us. I thought he may have got the ball, but he's dived in. He's got a yellow card. We've got someone booked. And the Swedish fans will love that on our international debut. Good pace to get away from Modric. Down the line, look at that. Leaving Modric, no, a lovely touch away. Vida dives in. He did get us first before the ball. Very close to a penalty. And, uh, oh, we're over the ball as well. I'm definitely going to shoot. Definitely going to shoot in. Oh, the keeper keeps it out. I thought we'd just snuck it in that near post and it just bent at the last moment really close to the goalkeeper. Oh, already reinvigorated me playing playing as uh, Sweden. And this one goes. We're going to be up for this. Oh, it's uh, sort of cleared away. Bounce around. It'll be another corner, I think. Yeah, Badasic won't keep that one in. There's Mandzukic is replaced by Kramaric. For Croatia. We're all sort of uh, huddled here. I'm going to pull off to the edge of the box. And that's not a successful clearance. But that's going to fall to Georgic. Who tries to bend one. Oh. That's a good little effort. Took time to settle on the ground. As uh, it was cleared away here. Nice little pass into it as we called for it there. Right foot touch. Left foot tries to bend it. Livakovic had it covered in goal for Croatia. But uh, signs of positivity. Maybe... Maybe we need to train as an out-and-out -out striker, and that's where we want to play. Not for Paris, because I can't be dealing with long balls up in the air. There's a good tackle on Kramaric. Brozovic picks that one up. Out to Vishalko. Coming up to about 15 minutes to go, and you need to stop those big balls in the air, although Mandzukic isn't on the pitch anymore. And they're not going to be that much of a difficult uh, difficulty to deal with anymore. Mandzukic is very good in the air. Vishalko, Modric. Tries to square that one. I'm a bit too deep now as a centre-back. But Brekalo is there. Kramaric 
trying to turn. You can see him trying desperately to get that shot off. Modric on the edge of the area. Modric again into Brozovic. A bit of time. Good save from uh, the Swedish goalkeeper whose name escapes me. It might, it wouldn't be Isaksson nowadays, would it? I don't think. But uh, Barisic with the throw in for Croatia. Brozovic. He's trying to hold up, get the perfect crossing position. He's got players back who he can use. Rakitic is one of them. Fires that in, and the keeper, well, claims it very well. It's definitely not as it's in. It's a very short name. Where's this going? Oh, brilliant. He's put a long ball up for me to chase. And Kalita Kar, composure galore. Brozovic. Perisic has got him behind. Ball over the top, and that's not a good pass. And that is going to be cleared away. And once again, we're trying. We're being asked to be something we're definitely not, which is a target man. You've got that. You've got that. Oh, you haven't got it. You haven't got it. Rakitic. And it goes to Kramaric. Kramaric shot from range. Good catch again from Mr. Keeper. Now, don't kick it to me. Kick it to Isaksen. He's really tall. Why are you kicking it to me? I don't want it. Not in the air. Three minutes of injury time. Perisic. Ball in. Kramaric. This is going to be a winner. You can feel it. That's a clear. It's cleared away. I mean, that was to me, but I wasn't paying attention. And it's nil-nil on our debut. All the games in the Legend are one nil or nil-nil. So, unless you sim them. But, uh, yeah, four, th four shots, three on target for them. Four shots, two on target for us. And we came away with a 6.5 on our international debut. Not too bad. Oh, it's, it's Olsen in goal for uh, the Everton goalkeeper. But there we go. 72 rated internationally. One appearance, 6.5. And uh, next up is Poland. So, uh, just, we're on the bench again. Oh, I'm going to play these offline. Do you know what? I might just play through until the next the next transfer day. Uh, no, we'll play a few games of Paris. But we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to give Paris a go and hopefully get some stats up. But thank you for watching for now. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good jazz. Leave me a comment down below if you think the next Become a Legend will be with. And uh, for now, I'm out. Cheers.